Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I've got another of my videos on my intro series to Reason, and today we're going to talk about sort of the categories of instruments, or not even instruments, the categories of things in Reason. And so they're organized up here in the browser by instruments, effects, utilities, and players, or the same on the right-click menus, Instruments, Effects, Utilities, and Players, um, which are sort of what we're going to get in today, to de today, which are different from this other sort of sub-menu, Audio Tracks, Mixed Channels, Instruments, Effects, and Send Effects. Sort of the same, sort of different, but let's start with an instrument. It doesn't really matter which instrument we pick, but we'll just go with Grain, because it's been a minute since I opened it up. So we right click and we've created a grain and basically all instruments in Reason, everything under the instrument category is a synthesizer that you can control with your keyboard or your mouse or whatever. And that's beautiful. Um, and so what I want to point out is that this here is the instrument. This here is the mixer channel. And if we go look, there's a mixer channel created for this. But what I want to show you is that inside the mixer channel, and this is the master mixer channel, right? Going to the main mixer. You can go down to the utilities section, for example. And this is a lot of, this is basically the way Reason used to work back before mixer channels. Um, and you can get a utility. And what are utilities? Well, utilities are everything from audio mergers to mini mixers to modulators. Um, they're not effects. They are things to control effects or instruments or to help you kind of process with them. So if we go to Reason Devices and we go to Mixer 412, this is basically just a mini version of a Mackie mixer um, or some other mixer, but it sure looks like a Mackie one to me. Um, and so what we're going to do is hit the tab key to flip it around. And what you can see is that the master output of the Mackie mixer is going into the uh, effects return of the Reason mix channel for Vergon 6. Now what I'm going to do is take the instrument here and plug it into the first channel of the mixer. So the grain it's going to sound the same because the grain is going to channel one of the mixer, which is then sending its output to the mix channel. But what we're going to do now is we're going to create another grain. I'm going to hold down shift while I do it. Another instrument. We'll do a Europa just so it's, it looks completely different. So I held down shift, which means that there are no connections. And I'm going to take the audio output from Europa and put it to the mix, to the mixer the internal mixer here. Um, so there's still only one mix channel on the main mixer, but now we've got two inputs going into the sub mixer. So if we go to the sequencer, you'll see there's a sequencer track for both of these. And there's a way we can make them both play at the same time, but that's not what we're doing right now. I just want to show you this video, I just want to show you sort of the difference between utilities, effects, instruments, and mixed channels, and all of that fun stuff. So we'll just play a very simple pattern on one of these. Um, doesn't really matter, but just... Alright, so we've got that. We'll just clip it, it does not matter. Hit Control c to copy it, paste it. And now they're both going to be playing this. And you can see they're both playing through the mixer, which is a utility, under this mix channel. Um, and so Virgon 6 is probably not what you're going to want to lead instead. Um, or a bass, doesn't really matter, but let's just go like this so it sounds a little better. Um, so one mix channel has to, can have two instruments on it. It can have any number of mix instruments on it. Um, so now, um, let's put loop on too. 
so you can have just one or the other on. You can control them this way. And then what you could do is create a, an effect that applies to everything after the mixer or before the mixer any time you want, really. But the way, it, the easiest way to think of effects is just they're like guitar pedals or something, right? You could put a delay on, a distortion pedal, and just for simplicity, we'll do a, an old school D11 fold back distortion. And reason right now is routing this as a send effect on this mixer. And I'll do a video about sound effects. I've, I've done some, but I'll do another one about why you'd want to do it. Um, but now what we're going to do is instead wire it from the master output of this sub mixer goes to the distortion, which then goes to the mix channel here. So now when we hit play, everything's going to be passing through the distortion. Um, and so you can see how an effect can live within a mixer channel, which can have multiple instruments to it. But then what we can also do, and I made a whole video on the send effect stuff, but what we're going to do is hit, instead of creating an internal effect, we're going to create a send effect. And it's actually, I don't think it's going to do this the way I want to do it, so let me back it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create another mix channel. This mix channel, now if we go here, to the mixer, we'll call this one instruments. So this could be like an instrument patch, right? And then we would call this one um, delay send. And that's probably pretty hard to see because it's green, so I'll just change the color. Delay send. So now we go back here and we hit tab to flip it over again. And I want effect send one to be going into the mixer and the output to go back to effects return. So now we've set up an effects send and we want to put, a, we'll put a delay on here. Um, and we'll just do the simple DD1L. And so now if we go to the mixer, um, the main mixer, what you can see is we can send the instrument to the delay mixer channel, but there's not actually an instrument on this, right? It's just a place, we're really just creating a, a space on the mixer board for something to exist. And I'll pan them. So you can hear that delay. That's completely controllable on the mixer, and we'll just do some crazy EQ so it really stands out. So a mix channel is something different from an from an instrument itself, which is just the synthesizer. Um, but generally, an instrument will create a mix channel automatically. An effect can either exist inside of a mix channel, or it can be. Uh, attached to an instrument. And let's also say you can move the instruments inside of the mix channel. Sometimes I like to do that just for uh, organizational purposes. Um, a utility can exist inside a mix channel. It can also sort of exist in a space between them. Uh, like, let's say, um, sure, we'll do the, now let's do the matrix. So I'm just going to put the matrix, no, I don't want you in there, sorry. Um, uh, put the matrix out here. Come on now. Um, so the matrix is, creates a pattern, and maybe I'll get into what each of these things does in detail. But right now it's just running with a pattern. Um, and what you can do is you can have it so that the matrix, the various... Um, modulations created by the matrix um, will control um, sort of what's going on with these other effects.
basically a utility can exist independent of any of these things um, and can make sort of the magic happen between them and can uh, connect them. Finally, we've got players. And one of the truest things I can say about a player is that a player is going to play. And the second truest thing I can say is that it basically is attached directly to a synthesizer and now affects the notes that come through it. But it's not in any way related to CV voltage. It's based on MIDI data, I believe. So now if we listen to the fact lead, I'm going to mute the other one. So, um, players can only attach to synths. Um, as opposed to effects which could attach by themselves and which can also attach to the last thing I want to show you which is an audio track and in an audio track basically you record it um, and most of those settings are really um, going to be only on uh, it's, it's best to do this through the sequencer channel um, and so let's say you recorded a guitar or you know, vocals or whatever, you can attach an effect to that. Um, you know, you can put a compressor or distortion or delay onto the audio track, but you cannot put a player on the audio track. Some utility, you can put a utility on an audio track, but not all of them will do something that interesting. Um, so I really hope you found this video sort of though a bit meandering useful and conceptualizing the way that different instruments exist within reason um, and if you have please give us a like a thumbs up um, and leave a comment below about what you'd like to learn